What's going on, y'all? Again, y'all, um, Dante562. Um, you know, I had to do um, an immediate uh, response video um, to my boy um, Tyreek. Hope I'm saying your name right. I'm going to call you Tyreek. Um, Tyreek is um, someone that I follow on um, YouTube. You know, I follow his channel. He follows mine. You know, and um, he got a cool ass um, channel. You know, to, to me, this is what it's all about. It's about the fact that we could talk about boxing, you know, just like you watch ESPN, you see a panel of people, you know, on a panel talking about boxing, football, you know, basketball, you know, we can do this, you know, and there's nothing wrong with disagreeing. I have no problem with anybody disagreeing with me as long as you're being mature and professional, you know what I mean? I mean, the you know, the ones who look bad are, you know, the people who come over here talking about your mama, playing the race card, silly like little kindergarten lunch ticket type Mickey Mouse bullshit. You feel me? That's when, you know, that's when, you know, cats like that, you, you got to be like, man, you need to get the hell out the room and let us adults talk about this shit. You feel me? But but anyway, nevertheless, um, you know, this um this Pacquiao uh, situation with Bob Arum, a video that I just did right now. Uh, I just did it, you know, earlier today. Um, like I said, Tyreek, he did a response video to mine. And, um, you know, he made some decent points. I partially agree with some of it, but this is where, where, where I'm going to say I disagree. What Tyreek basically said was he said that when I'm when I'm referring to when I'm referring to Bradley and Pacquiao and when I when I'm talking about, you know, Pacquiao lost to Bradley, he needs to get his belt back. Now, what Tyreek said was, realistically, belts don't really matter today. Belts don't really matter today, you know, which to a certain extent, he's right. Belts don't really matter. He made examples saying Artur Gatti, you know, he never really needed a belt. You know what I'm saying? He made, he made other examples, Oscar De La Hoya, he never really needed a belt. You know, he didn't use this name, but if you're going to say that, I could even throw in, you know, um, Mickey Ward. He didn't need a belt. But see, Tyreek, this is where I will disagree with you and say the difference. Tyreek, the difference is Artul Gaddy, Mickey Ward, Oscar De La Hoya, they were never on the level of, an, of a Floyd Mayweather, of a Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya, you know, he came close to that level. But when, you know, for, but Oscar De La Hoya, he was dominant when he was in the lighter divisions. When Oscar De La Hoya moved up to the welterweight division where he started fighting top-notch opponents, that's when he started to struggle. And that's when his career became more money, more about money than it became about his legacy. You know what I'm saying? To this day, as far as I'm concerned, Oscar De La Hoya's biggest accomplishment as a boxer is that gold medal that he won in the Olympics. You know, that's where I stand with that. OK, but, um, you know, like I said, Tyreek, um, you know, you, you made points um, basically saying it's all about money. It's all about money. See, see, this is the thing. When you say it's not about belts, you are right to a, to a certain extent. But this is the point that I'm making. And I'm sure you can agree with this too, Tyreek. If you take Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Lewis, um, I'm just naming some of the biggest names of all time. Pernell Whitaker, James Toney, Mike Tyson, right? Let's just take all of these fighters, for example, right? And let's just say hypothetically, they never had any belt because belts don't really mean a damn thing. What's more important is who, who holds the belt. What's more important is the name. What's more important is the mythical title of who's the best fighter in the world, right? Now, all those fighters that I just named, do you think that if one of those fighters lost while they were considered on the top of the world, not only did they lose, but actually, the majority of people think they won the fight, right? The majority of people think they won the fight, but the other guy gets it. Now, you, you answer me this. 
Do you think all of those fighters I just named would say, nah, that's okay. I don't need to fight this guy again. There's a lot of there's a lot more fights out there where I can make good money. Do you think they would do that? Or do you think those great fighters that I just named would say, I want to I want a rematch? Do you think they would say that? Come on, man. I I believe they would. I believe, I believe, I don't even think that question is really up for debate. I think they would. Right? So, you you know, the thing is, when people say, like Tyreek also said in his video, he didn't believe, he, he didn't believe that the Pacquiao Bradley fight is a big money fight. I got to disagree with you, dog, on that one. And let me tell you why. Manny Pacquiao is the biggest thing. Next to Floyd Mayweather, he is the biggest thing in the entire sport of boxing. Manny Pacquiao is the hero when it comes to boxing, right? Manny Pacquiao has not had a loss in over seven years, right? This man is huge. This loss that he just had, it, it sparked up to be one of the biggest controversies in recent time, right? Now, we all know controversy sells a fight. Controversy sells a fight. You know what I'm saying? If something crazy happens in that ring and there's a rematch, controversy is going to help that fight sell. Okay? Not only that, but you heard people, you heard people who you didn't even know even watch boxing, you know, talking about the Pacquiao Bradley fight. Justin Timberlake was on TV talking about the fight. You have so many people talking about this fight. And you think that the, the rematch would not be huge? Let me tell you something. There are a lot of people out there who some, they want to see Pacquiao come back and knock Bradley's head off, right? Then you have some people scratching their head deep down. They're saying to themselves, man, is am I fooling myself? Is Bradley really better than Pacquiao? You know what I'm saying? Can, Pac, can Pacquiao come back and beat Bradley decisively? I don't know, right? Because of the controversy of this fight, this fight would be way bigger than a fourth Marquez fight. The fourth Marquez fight, are you serious? Pacquiao versus Marquez is a, is a rerun of the same damn show playing every damn day. Okay? It's a rerun. You want to see Pacquiao versus Cotto? After Cotto, after Pacquiao just destroyed Cotto? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and see, this is why the money thing, it doesn't really make any sense to me. The money part of it, it doesn't make that much sense. Because if money was so important, why did Pacquiao fight Bradley in the first place? For way less money than he could have made fighting Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather offered him, first Floyd Mayweather offered him 50-50. Pacquiao turned it down because he didn't want to take the test. Which, by the way, since that time, five people done failed that same test that Pacquiao don't want to take. The last negotiations, Floyd Mayweather offered him $40 million. Pacquiao said, nah, that's okay, I'll pass. I'll go ahead and fight Bradley for $20 million. Right? If this is a money thing, why did Pacquiao not take the $40 million? You guys do understand that if Pacquiao would have beat Floyd Mayweather, he would have been worth more money than Floyd Mayweather. You guys do understand that, right? You guys can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways, okay? A man that beats, a man that beats Manny Pacquiao, that is going to be a big-ass fight because Manny Pacquiao doesn't lose every fight, okay? This is just how I see it. This is how I see it. And when you keep talking about, you know, Bob Arum wants to make the biggest dollar and all that kind of stuff like this, I'm going to tell you just like this. What it really comes down to is does Pacquiao want to go down? Is pound for pound one of the best businessmen in the world? 
Or does he want to go down as one of the best fighters in the world? I'm going to tell you right now. Now, Tyreek, now, now you may be different, but if you were, but if you were his promoter, you know what I'm saying? Or let's just say you were his father. Because me, me personally, like I said, I have I have kids that box. And I'm telling you right now, you know what I'm saying? If my son was in the position of Pacquiao and somebody beat my son. If I truly believe that my son could come back and and you know and clean his name completely, I'm taking Bradley. Okay? That's who I'm going to fight next. And don't and don't don't believe the hype when when you know how people think it's all up to Bob Arum. You know what I'm saying? Bob Arum, he has the biggest say so in the matter. But if Pacquiao really wanted Bradley, Pacquiao could call up Arum I mean, Aram said it himself about three weeks ago. Whatever, whatever Manny Pacquiao wants, that's the fight we're going to make. Even though that might have been a little bit of bullshit, but like I said, if Bradley pushes the if if, if Pacquiao pushes the envelope and he says, "Look, Bob, I'm telling you right now, this man he this man he beat me, you know, on paper, and I want a revenge. I want to go in here and beat this man so damn decisive that a blind judge would pick me." You feel me? And Bob, if you don't give me this fight, I'm going to the media. And I'm going to tell everybody that I want I want Bradley. Okay, Tyreek, you're right. Forget about the damn belt. Forget about the belt. But what about your reputation of being the best fighter in the world? What about that? Okay? Yeah, you're right. Forget about the belt. But don't compare Manny Pacquiao to Arturo Gatti, dog. You can't compare him to that because Arturo Gatti ain't going to go down as pound for pound one of the greatest fighters of all time. That's why he didn't need a belt, dog. That's the reason why he didn't need a belt because he was just a sideshow. He was just entertainment. You feel me? That's all he is. That's what Amir Khan is starting to be. He's not quite there yet. But I truly believe eventually Amir Khan is going to also be that sideshow guy who, you know, he could win a belt here and there, but he ain't going to never be taken serious. And he's always going to be exciting. You know, Victor Ortiz is never going to need a belt. But does that make him the best? See, I think this is what's hurting this sport. I think what's hurting this sport is in every other sport. Being the champion is the most important thing. But look at it in our sport. In our sport, you got fans like us talking about money. Oh, forget about the championship. The money is the most important. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at the football. Look at football. Look at the Super Bowl. Look how big the Super Bowl is. Look at the NBA. Look at that ring you get. That ring on your finger, that fucking means something. But you're right, though, Tyreek. You are absolutely right. A belt in boxing don't mean shit. The best fighters are not forced to fight the best. It's not set up like the like like the NFL, where you you, you know you're in the playoffs, you're in this bracket. It don't matter who you personally want to play against. You have to play against the winner of the next teams, right? Not in boxing, though. No. You beat one good champion like Donaire, beat one decent champion, and now he no longer wants to play against the number one seed in the NFL. You feel me? So, yeah, you're right, Tyreek. Belts don't really mean a damn thing. But what about your greatness? Dog, I'm telling you, I think your greatness means something. You feel me? And, and Tyreek, you know just like I know, and everybody else listening, you guys know just like I know. If Manny Pacquiao ends his career, a, a, a possible loss from Marquez, an official loss from Bradley, a decline to ever fight Bradley again, go on, go fight Marquez four times, five times, six times. Go fight Cotto two times, three times. Right. And then eventually lose to one of them. Or finally get the fight with Mayweather and lose to them. 
this is what it comes down to. How good was Pacquiao at the end of the day? How good was Pacquiao at the end of the day? Okay? Sugar Ray Leonard didn't have to fight. Sugar Ray Leonard didn't have to fight Roberto Duran. Sugar Ray Leonard could have skipped Roberto Duran, and he could have fought Hearns, Hagler, Aaron Pryor, all these other fighters. But he did fight him. Floyd Mayweather didn't have to fight Jose Luis Castillo. There was no money in that rematch. There was no money in that rematch at all. But why did he do it? He did it because Floyd Mayweather said, how dare you? How dare you try to challenge my greatness in this sport that I've been dedicated to since I was a damn child? You feel me? That's what Floyd Mayweather said. Damn a belt. Damn money. And Bob Arum was his promoter at that time. And, 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 and Floyd Mayweather didn't use Bob Arum as an excuse not to fight Castillo in that rematch. You feel me? I don't want to be Oscar De La Hoya in this sport. I don't want my son to be the next Oscar De La Hoya in this sport. Excuse me, my phone is ringing. But anyway, like I said, man, I don't want to be Oscar De La Hoya in this sport. I want to be Floyd Mayweather. I want to be Sugar Ray Robinson. You feel me? I want to be Sugar Ray Leonard. People like Oscar De La Hoya will go down in history pound for pound. One of the biggest businessmen in the sport. Let I'd rather be pound for pound the biggest businessman when I retire, not while I'm still fighting. You feel me, dog? So, um, you know, there was even more than this than I had to say, but I got a little distracted. And I'm forgetting now because my phone is distracting me. But anyway, man, like I said, Tyreek, you know, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just talking boxing. You feel me? So um, I feel where you're coming from. But, dog, this is where I'm coming from. You know, Pacquiao, he ain't got to fight Bradley. He ain't really got to do it. The honest God to truth is he doing this for his damn self. He doing this for his self. He not really doing it that much for us. He making people who, go, but he, I will tell you, he's making the people who going against him, making them feel more confident that he is a joke. All right. So that's all I got to say, man. And um, you had a real good video, and um, I, I, you know, I catch up with you on the next one. Peace.